Hello, and welcome to Larissa's Kitchen. I'm making a classic Italian staple that's topped with nearly any savory topping you can imagine. Polenta is a cornmeal dish used much the same way as pasta. You can buy it pre-made from the grocery store in tubes, but that's just bonkers. Why? Because this is one serving and it's $4. This, on the other hand, is only $1.60, and it's four servings. I know, I know. What about all the other ingredients? Aside from our 40 cents worth of yellow cornmeal, we'll also need four cups of water and a teaspoon and a half of kosher salt. And this only takes us about 20 minutes from start to finish. This is my eight inch cake pan. It's easiest to line this pan with foil if we fold the basic shape with the pan inverted. Remember, the matte side is the nonstick side. Then we just flip the pan back over, set the foil inside, and voila, no wrinkles. This just needs to be sprayed with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. Like all hot cereals, we can ensure a super smooth and creamy product by adding the cereal to the cold water along with the salt and heating it all together. This prevents lumps from forming. For our polenta, we need to bring this to a simmer where it'll thicken and eventually lose its luster. We need to stir this constantly. If you want your polenta soft, only bring it to the boil to thicken. It should still look lustrous and shiny. We want to shape our polenta, so we need to keep cooking it until it looks dry. This is going into our prepared pan. We need to let this set up for 10 to 20 minutes before we can cut it into our different shapes. You could also let this cool completely. Okay, so this doesn't stick. We're just gonna spray this knife with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. We can cut this in just quarters. We can cut it into diagonals. We can cut it into fingers. We can cut these into small squares. Or if you want to get fancy, we can use a cookie cutter. Now make sure you spray this liberally with nonstick cooking spray. I'm getting ready to taste this polenta. Now I've topped mine with sugo sauce and Italian sausage and onions which just happens to be the next episode. Oh, this is so creamy. This smells so good. Get a little of everything on here. Wonderful. Thank you for visiting Larissa's Kitchen. If you enjoyed this video, give the like button a click and don't forget to leave a comment.
We're always happy to hear from you. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and don't keep us a secret. Share our videos with your friends and family. You can follow us on Facebook for behind the scenes pics and videos and on Twitter for upcoming videos and the random cat picture.